Now that we have connected our application to a database, we need a table inside the database where we will store our user's credentials. And by default, Laravel comes with a template on how that table is supposed to look like. And that template is called a migration. So when you go to database, migrations, you'll see that we have four migrations by default. And when you click on create user's table, this is just a template on how that table is supposed to look like. So that table is supposed to have a, a column of ID, a column of name, a column of email, and it's supposed to be a string, a column of um, email verified data, a column of password, which is, which is supposed to be a string, a column of remember token, and a column of timestamps. So we, we already have a um, template created for us. To create a table, you just go to your terminal, and you run php artisan migrate. I've already done that to save time. So it will run the migration and, and at the end, this is what you will have. And now that will migrate the tables and create the tables for you in the database. So now when you go to your GUI, then go to your database, then the tables and refresh. Just right, cl right click on it and then refresh. You will see that now we have four tables and when you click on users this is what you'll get a table with id name email everything as as it is described in the template now we have a table now we can go ahead and install the laravel breeze package so to install the package you go to your terminal and then you run composer require require rather laravel breeze dash dash dev so it will execute and at the end i've already done that to save time at the end you'll get this publish complete but now if you try to go to your application and try to go to forward slash login it will still not work you'll not get the login page if you try forward slash register you'll not get the register page so the next thing we need to do is to publish the authentication routes controllers views and other resources so you go to your terminal and now you need to run php install php artisan breeze install and that will install all that for us then when it finishes breeze scaffolding installed successfully it will ask you to please execute the npm install and npm run dev just copy that code and then run it here and after oh, after that is finished that will take some time depending on the speed of your machine so it will execute 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 and the final thing you'll have is this compiled successfully in whatever time depending with the speed of your machine and now we are done now we've uh, installed the package and it should work so if i now before before i go to the okay 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 now if i now go to login page let me try that go to forward slash login it should work i go to forward slash register it's working but notice this if i go to home page it's no longer working and that is because when we installed the package and published the the views and the routes in a web.php this file was generated again so we lost all the code that we had written here but uh, don't worry we have the code um, on github so i'll go to github go to my repository here's the code i'll have a link in the description it's the same as the one we had before so i'll copy it after copying it i'll come here and the only um code that is added here is this this and this we no, lo we no longer need this because we modified this this is what comes by default and we modified it so i'm going to delete everything here and then replace it with what we had before so we have what we had before and the only thing that we've added is this dashboard when someone logs in where that person is supposed to be directed to so i'll save go back to my uh, my project refresh 
and everything works perfectly as before. Now, in the next tutorial, let's see how we can integrate the login and the register route so that uh, we don't have to write them manually here, so that we have something like this at the end of the day. When you log in, you get the view and we still maintain the sidebar. When you register, we get the view and we still get the sidebar. So let's go ahead and register in this one that we've created and confirm that it's working. So I'll come here and say register. Then just give a name, my email. I'll use the same as password. Then register. And now we are logged in. But notice we don't have our sidebar. So we'll implement that in the next lesson so that when someone regi logs in, it looks like this. Login. So when one logs in, we still maintain our sidebar. So we'll cover that in the next lesson. As always, if this video has been of any benefit to you, kindly consider supporting my work by subscribing, leaving a like and a comment. Cheers!